And the good times continue on Smoking with the Blend from near one of the happiest places on earth with one of the happiest people I know, our good friend, cigar influencer, Holly Joy. What's going on, my friend? I am doing really well. Um, just a reminder for all of my followers, I am cigar.beauty. Um, just to make sure I throw that out there, otherwise I might have some confused people. <laughs> Absolutely. Cigar.beauty is the Instagram. There's also a website, which is cigarbeautylounge.com. So we're going to get into all that because that's why you're here. It's our Sister of the Leaf influencer series and one of the best people I know to talk to about this but before we go any further we can't bury the lead like were your parents big like Christmas people or big like like descendants from elves where does Holly Joy come from cigar.beauty on Instagram so I am actually a Christmas Eve baby um so my mother had picked out my name I was supposed to be Sarah Elizabeth I'm the youngest of four girls so we all have very very typical female, I guess, names. I don't know how else to say that. And when I was born on Christmas Eve, mom said, nope, we got to do Christmas name, Holly Joy. And that's it. I love it. Well, you know, being Cuban, you're, you're, you're Noche Buena, baby, which is, and it was a Noche Buena because we've got Holly here. All right. So let's get into the, the, the smoky treats. What are you smoking right now? I see you've got a nice little smoky treat there. Yes, I actually have my own. This is a Crown Cigar, Connecticut, and I'm super excited to smoke it. Um, I recently started my own brand. Um, I'll be fully up and running in about a month, but I figured I'd smoke one on here since I'm going to be with you. And absolutely, great time to we're the blend. And we're smoking with Cigar Dot Beauty with your own your own brand. Okay, we're going to have to get all this information because we're going to, and I'm going to have to get some of those. So I will have to give you my credit card, and or better yet, we we should go up to to, to your to where you live in Central Florida and knock it out. Now, is that part with with, with Jeff Borsowitz and our friends over there at, at the Corona Lounge as well? Yes, 100. percent Yes, I love that. We we just we did a show with him. We went up to the farm. And, you know, they, he had me rolling cigars and stuff, you know. Yeah, yes, it was good. I didn't get sick or anything rolling my own cigars. All right, so let's get to it here. One of the, the questions I love to ask anybody who is a cigar enthusiast is, how did the cigar find you? In other words, I don't think we find cigars. I think they find us. How did that happen for you? How, how did you get involved in this whole thing? Really, it was just a matter of... I had a high school teacher who had always smoked cigars and the kids would be like, Oh, he smells terrible. And I was like, he smells so good. What is that? <laughs> um, and so over time I learned that he was a, a cigar smoker, loved the smell. And anytime I would pass a cigar bar, I would smell that smoker or, or just, just a, someone walking by. It was always an old, you know, the older men with the big cigars and, and they would always be smoking and I've always loved the smell. So when I turned 18, it was allowed to finally try cigars. Um, well, that was back in the day. I went into the local gas station and bought a pack of Swisher Sweets and oh. fell madly in love. <laughs> so I, I did kind of the lighter, the short fillers for a little while. Um, nothing too intense or nothing too major. It wasn't a true passion until I moved to Florida about 10 years ago. Right. And by that point, I'd probably been to maybe three or four cigar lounges, hardly any at all. And when I moved here and I found my, my group of friends, I would constantly ask me, hey, let's go to a cigar bar. There's nothing to do tonight. You want to go to a cigar bar? So it was definitely me kind of motivating my friends. And the friends that I still keep in touch with, they all still smoke. So I love that. Um, hopefully I was a little bit of an influence on that. Nice. And since, yeah, since then, it's just been a true passion. I started my Instagram page about a year ago because I figured why not share what I love? And I'm really keen. I'm really interested in educating people. So I'm constantly reading, learning, and I hope to pass on that education because all of my experiences in lounges have been completely different. I walk into lounges where the customer service is outstanding. The tobacconist it knows more about cigars than anyone I've ever met. And then I go into lounges where it's the complete opposite, or I kind of get that, oh, you're a woman, you're picking up some cigars for a guy. And I'm like, here we go. <laughs> get them, girl. <laughs> So my goal is, is definitely to educate and hopefully kind of change um, the persona of people who smoke cigars. And, you know, when people are walking by, they're like, hey, that's awesome. You're smoking. Maybe I should try one. 
I like to refer to it as positive peer pressure. I like that. I'll write that down. Positive peer pressure. Good. <laughs> Good parenting too. So, so, so cigar.beauty on Instagram. Now I, I love it because when we first met, I had you on a radio show I had, we were more talking about pairings, about bourbons and scotch. And I am proud to say that my positive peer pressure, I introduced you to a great Colorado bourbon, which I can see on your page every once in a while. So the cigar you have now, first of all, tell us about your line. Tell us about what kind of smokes we have and what would you pair that with? Absolutely. So I've actually started with four cigars. Um, I consider just doing maybe two or three. And then I was like, you know what, go big or go home. So that's where I went. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I have, I'll have four different cigars. So I have the King, the Queen, the Prince and the Knight. Mm. So kind of kept it with like the chess theme or the royalty theme. Uh, Cause I love everything about that. And uh, I've, often referred to kind of as the cigar queen. I get that a lot. So I was like, this really comes full circle here. Nice. Uh, each of the four cigars will obviously be different. So the king is an Oscuro. The queen is a Cameroon. The prince is the Connecticut. And then the knight is a San Andres. So really kind of covered all of the bases and worked a long time, you know, picking the cigars. Eventually I'll be coming out with, um, Another cigar as well. I'm already talking with my blender in my factory to, to even come out with a fifth cigar. And I've, I've come up with tons of ideas. And so my, my brain is exploding over here. But for right now, we're just going to we're going to do the four. And I'm very, very excited. Yeah, that's, we're, we're, we're totally thrilled to be sharing this with you. Now, tell me, where, where are you getting your tobacco? Where, is, is it Borsowitz's, uh, uh, you know, Florida sun grown? Are you going through Nicaragua? Where, where are we getting all this stuff? We're kind of everywhere. The focus really tends to be Ecuador, Nicaragua, and Dom, um, the Dominican Republic. It, the factories are in the Dominican as well as Nicaragua. Um, and the majority of the filler are Dominican and Nicaraguan. So it all depends on the wrapper and binder where yeah. else they're from. I also have uh, Pennsylvania broadleaf in some of my sticks as well. So we're all over the world, which I love because I um, jokingly referred to my page one time or during my IG live that, that we're the United Nations of cigars because I have my IG live and I have people from all over the world on there. And I'm talking, I'm asking, you know, where's everyone from? And I have South America, Central America, Europe, um, you name it. I have people there and of course, all over the U.S. Right. So I'm pretty happy with these cigars. I'm happy that I was able to get tobacco from so many different places to make such an incredible blend for each stick. All right. So Connecticut is kind of my, you know, I, I like, I like, I like the nice Maduro, uh, you know, stronger cigars, but, but a Connecticut that to me, that's, that's a start of the day. That that's an early afternoon NFL game right there. So <laughs> we're going to pair that with something. Where, what, what would you jump with there? Bourbon or scotch or what, what would you do with that? So this particular stick, um, as I absolutely love it, it has a sweetness, a creaminess to it. It is very easy to smoke. Um, you just enjoy it from start to finish. What I would do with this particular one is probably go with a, a more of a fruitier bourbon. And what I mean by that, I would probably stick with something that's been aged in a port cask. So the Breckenridge, for example, would be a great choice. The Clyde Mays bourbon that I was actually drinking last night has this really subtle fruity tone that I fell madly in love with the first time I tried it. So that's probably what I would stick with, something a little bit lighter. I also have the Brook Lodic, more of a scotch fan. Um, the Classic Laddie, again, it's very much known for having those fruity undertones. That's what I prefer with my Connecticut's. I like to have those lighter flavors um, to be able to pair with it. All right, so now we've, we've, more, we've moved over to the late afternoon games early. Now we're going to get serious now, Cigar.Beauty on Instagram. We're going to get serious now. We're going to smoke some heavy hitters. What's, what is on the palate for the nighttime smoke and the nighttime pairing? So I, for me, especially with my brand, I would probably smoke either the king or the queen. Um, I love all four of them, but the king is just an outstanding stick. I mean, they it's all are, king. but it's really hard. Yes, exactly. Um, and that's an Oscuro, which I am a huge fan of. And I think for that one, I would actually go for a little bit of a heavier scotch. Mm -hmm. So I have a Glenfiddich um, that I absolutely love. I think I'd stick with that or maybe even a peated scotch, which 
the farther the night goes, I really love that heavy peated scotch. And I have an Ardbeg that is just outstanding for that peat. So I think those two, even though they're both heavy, so normally you might want to counter that. For me, I like having that really rich, um, beautiful Oscuro wrapper. And then I like to pair it with a little bit of a heavier scotch. That's my preference. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, you got you to gotta know you're there. That's what I say. All right, so here, here's something. I, I'm, I'm involved in the boxing world a lot. I cover a lot of boxing, host some boxing shows, as you've seen on my Instagram. And the big sort of dust up in the boxing world now is all these influencers coming in, the Jake Pauls, the KSIs, and the, you know, the rumpled suit, old school boxing. This is terrible. This is terrible. And you almost, I kind of feel that in my cigar travels as well about influencers. And, you know, and, and you mentioned it earlier. Here's a, here, here's a gorgeous woman walking into a cigar bar and some places are like, oh, hi, honey. Yes. You know, here, 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 have a, how do you, how do you handle that? Where, how do you feel the influencers are affected? the cigar business today because you're one of those you're 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 a major player in this thing so for me it's twofold um one because I am a female and I do truly smoke cigars and I do know a little bit about cigars and I've gotten incredible feedback from people hey I started smoking cigars because of you thank you for your influence you know thank you for teaching me about cigars and then of course the other reason is um as a woman we are now changing the industry. So when women are walking into cigar bars, they're like, hey, what do you like to smoke? Do you need some help picking a cigar out? What can I do for you? And before I would walk into a cigar bar and they're like, oh, the infused cigars are over there. And I'm like, okay, (laughs) who are you pointing those out to? And it's not that I'm against infused cigars. I'm absolutely not. But there was this overall idea that females smoke only infused cigars. And Again, my goal in that as an influencer is to change that idea, to change that ideology that females are only smoking like the lighter cigars or, you know, they don't like the the nicotine hits or they don't like the dark Oscuros or the Maduros. So uh, for me, seeing all of the other female influencers has just been absolutely wonderful. I mean, we're changing the way that people look at cigar smokers. And I've actually talked to quite a few people that have told me that, you know, in Central America and South America, women smoke, tons of women smoke in in the countries that they are from and the areas where they live. And then I've spoken to people in Italy and in Ireland and in Germany, and they're like, yeah, we don't have a lot of women that smoke here. And I'm like, time to change that. We got to fix that. Time to get on a plane. Exactly. Yes. I love it. Uh, well, yeah, well, you're definitely, uh, as I say, you're, do, you're doing the Lord's work. You're getting, you're getting people exposed to this. Getting, it's that positive peer pressure. So, so tell me what's next, okay? You know, you're building your cigar empire now, five, five labels. What's next for you? What's, what, what, what is the, the path to world domination for the cigar.beauty? Um, definitely going for world domination. Thank you for that reminder. I forget that sometimes. Um, No, really what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of months, I'm actually going to be traveling to the Dominican. Um, I've got to get my scuba diving in as well, because it's been a few months and I'm really missing that. Um, So that that's a just a side note, but I'm going to be going there to um, come up with, as I as I mentioned, my fifth, uh, my fifth cigar. And I'm going to be traveling the factories and the farms where everything's made because I really want to be into it. I want to be all a part of that. In addition to that, I'm going to be going to some festivals. Uh, I have two. I have one in Tampa in November. I found the Course d'Elegance, and I apologize, I don't speak French, so I don't do the accent. It's not a good me. Hey, you could have fooled me. (laughs) Well, I just happened to. That just came right off of your tongue. It would have it would have sounded like 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 a bowling ball falling down the stairs if I had said that. You were just Course d'Elegance, boom. I was like, oh, okay, sure. Well, I've been to a few um, just as a a regular person just going because I've always loved cars my entire life. I'm from Detroit, so you kind of have to love cars if you're from Detroit. So I happened to find it and I'm like, hey, send an email. I'm like, hey, can I sell cigars there? And he's like, sure, no problem. You know, here's here's the fee. Here's the vendor info. No problem. You're all set. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I get my two favorite things, beautiful cars and cigars. It doesn't get any better than that. And then I have the Cigar Festival, December 5th, the Heritage Cigar Festival in Tampa, Ybor City. So super excited about that. And then really it's just hitting the ground running. 
Um, one of the things that I've worked really hard to do, even up to this point, is support the boutique cigar industry. Mm-hmm. And even before I knew I wanted to have my own brand, I've really supported boutique cigars. So my goal is to work with the BCA in order to kind of get ourselves out there. We are talking about doing quite a few different ideas. They're talking about doing multiple festivals. And I told him, I said, let me, let me join you. Let's, let's do this. I want to be there every step of the way. So I'm going to be hopefully working with them um, in the future. And then of course, selling my brand. So getting out there, my ultimate goal would be to go to the major cities and be able to go to, you know, five, six, 10, 12 cigar lounges, not only to sell my cigars, but to be with my community. So, you know, I'll announce on my page, I'm going to be in these cities and these lounges, and I get to meet all of the people I've been talking to over the last year. And again, I know that it's supposed to be about selling my brand, but but for me, I want to just connect with all of these people that I've been talking to this entire time. And it is the best part of being an influencer is that connection. So I'm, I'm excited that I get to be able to do what I love on both levels. You no, know, you're, 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 you're a very lucky person in that sense, because, you know, few people get to do what the, you know, what's the old story? If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. And, and it sounds like that's what you're doing. Listen, we're down here in Miami. The headquarters for the blend is, is in Chicago. Anything we can do to help, anything we can do to support, let us know. Let us know what you're up to, you know, on our Instagram page, which is my blend TV. And we can definitely support. We definitely want to hook up, you know, down the road, whether it's at a festival or or do an event you know with you there so we do appreciate the time my friend thank you so much for everything i really appreciate it i love talking to you so this is yeah. always so much fun you're the best you're the best so it's on instagram it's cigar.beauty and it's cigarbeautylounge.com what's the name of your brand where can we find it where else can we find you crown cigars i just released the website so it's still kind of in the the newer stages um i do have an instagram but haven't really posted much yet because i'm still waiting um, for all of my cigars uh, to come in. So it should be in the next four to six weeks, I should be fully up and running. Um, but if you do want to check it out, Crown Cigars uh, is where you can find us. I and crowncigars.us, I apologize. I didn't say the website. <laughs> That's great. So cigar.beauty for now, that is your Instagram. And put me down for a couple of boxes of, of the King and the Absolutely. Prince. I am definitely going to be on that. That is Holly Joy, the cigar.beauty on Instagram. Thanks for hanging out with us. 